What's going on guys? I'm Tap. I play games and in today's video we're going to be discussing Bioshock 2 multiplayer yet again but this time on the consoles. Before we get into that, I've had quite a bit of support on my uh, Smackdown Here Comes the Pain uh, Let's Play of the Definitive Edition and my uh, previous Bioshock 2 multiplayer video. Thank you guys for the support. If you're new here to the channel, please make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. I only have two subscribers and one of them is one of my friends. So really I only have one subscriber. Please help me out. Please subscribe if you're enjoying the content I'm making here. It would be greatly appreciated. And uh, let's continue. So, real quick about the gameplay. I go 23 and 11 here. I uh, went off way better on here than I am on PC. The guys on PC are actually pretty good I've been playing with. I think uh, console people aren't as good, but also I go off with the big daddy. Uh, the gameplay pretty much devolves into everybody fighting around this doorway right here. And, uh, yeah, that's about it for the gameplay. It's, I mean, it... I, I kind of fell apart towards the end, to be honest with you. Uh, but the first half of the game is real good. So, anyways, that's the gameplay. Also, I don't know why, but for some reason the audio didn't record. So, there's no audio. There's just the visuals, obviously, because you're looking at it. So, yeah, no audio. No, like, you know, I can just sit here and go pew, 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 pew when I shoot the gun. Or I can just talk over it and act like it didn't exist. We'll do that instead. Okay, so, anywho. Um, after getting a, quite a bit of comments on that last Bioshock 2 video I made, I was like, you know what? I'm playing on the PC, and there's people in the comment section telling me, oh, PS3 is populated. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to go play on the PS3 and see, uh, you know, what's going on on the PS3. So I went and hooked it up and everything, and I was able to get some games. You know, uh, it's not completely dead, although I will say it is pretty rough playing on the PS3 compared to the uh, PC. Like, the graphics are a pretty, <laughs> pretty substantial step down, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, it's just kind of crazy, like, thinking about how we were so used to you know I, I was so used to the ps3 this was like you know i didn't care about the graphics back then you know obviously it wasn't like last of us or something but you know i was like no this shock 2 is all right looking back at it i'm like oh wow okay so anyways uh because of that last video i was like you know i am playing on the pc i'm gonna make a separate video bioshock 2 multiplayer in 2021 on the consoles well unfortunately for me uh I, I went and bought a Bioshock 2 copy for Xbox 360. Little side note, I have an Xbox 360. It's a 4 gigabyte version. I bought it used at GameStop in like 2016 or 2017 only because Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer is pretty much hacked to shit and I didn't want to not be able to play Modern Warfare 2 because that's my all time favorite multiplayer experience on any game ever. So Xbox 360's version isn't really hacked that much. If there is, it's pretty much just like 10th prestige hack. There's no like aimbot and stuff like that. So that's why I bought an Xbox 360 years ago. And uh, the only games I have for it are Modern Warfare 2, World at War, uh, Left 4 Dead 2 I bought just because I always wanted to, I was, would like watch people play that back in the day, but I never actually like played it myself. So I was like, you know, I'm gonna try to, uh, I'm gonna try to this game out. Wasn't really a fan. Um, and then X Bioshock 2, I bought Bioshock 2 for $6.99 at my local game store. Uh, mom and pop game store because GameStop doesn't even carry Xbox 360 games anymore And I'm so lucky to have this store uh, this local store that has like GameCube PS2 PS1 PS3 Xbox PS4 You know all in anything you can think of they sell old-school consoles like I bought a Sega Genesis about a year ago um, So yeah, I, I might be buying some you know some consoles from them in the future, but anyways uh, Now that that now that that's out of the way uh, I don't really play Xbox 360. I can't stand the controller. I actually have a uh, Cronus Max, I believe is what it's called, which is what a lot of the the real hardcore nerds use as for like a uh, aimbot and and uh, what's it called, like turbo trigger or whatever. So like you can use a single shot gun in Call of Duty, but you can like basically make it like full auto. Uh, but I don't use it for that. I just use it so I can play Xbox 360 with a PS3 controller because I'm lame and I can't stand the Xbox 360 controller. I hate it. PS3 controller for life. So, anyways, uh, PlayStation 3, I could find games. Xbox 360, not so much. $6.99 for a copy of Bioshock 2, $9.99 for Xbox Live for a month, and so far, I probably sat in lobbies for about an hour and a half, two hours in Xbox 360, and I can't find a game, and you know, it's kind of weird, because I feel like, I don't know, I mean, it, I don't know how much this would factor into it, but like, PS3 overall actually sold more copies, you know, sold more consoles than Xbox 360 did. So you would, you know, like technically, I think PS3 sold around 100 million, Xbox 360 sold like 80 something. So say there's like 15, 20 million more consoles out there. I guess that means there could be a bigger player place for Bioshock 2, but also PlayStation 3 
online is free and same for PC, Xbox 360 isn't. So that, that would also make it to where, you know, there'd be a bigger player base. Um, but Xbox 360, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, it's all backwards compatible. So theoretically, you could have Xbox Series X and be playing Bioshock 2 multiplayer. So I was like, you know what? Hey, there'll be games on Xbox there. I couldn't find any. So I don't know if it's because multiplayer is free. Like, you know, how many people are really, how many psychos are really going out there and paying $9.99 for Xbox Live memberships so they can play Bioshock 2 on their Xbox 360 in the year 2021? Uh, probably not a lot, um, you know. So I'm going to try to get Xbox 360 gameplay. Now, playing this game on the PC... Oh, by the way, I forgot you could freeze doors in this game. I thought I forgot you could freeze doors. That's pretty sick. I, I that surprised me. It kind of you know I didn't know what to do right there for a second. But I was like, damn, you could freeze doors in this game. I forgot. That's that's pretty cool. Like, there's little things in this game, like the multiplayer wise. That's like it's awesome. Like Bioshock 2 multiplayer is so good. Like it's underrated. But anyways, um, what was I saying? Had to go back into the commentary and remind myself. But what I was saying was was. Uh, Playing this on PC, because obviously I never played on PC, I never played on Xbox, I only played on PS3, uh, you are at a real disadvantage in this game if you are not like level 40, because, I mean, obviously I'm actually level 39 here, I actually just saw the ending cutscene when you turn level 40 in Bioshock 2 for the first time yesterday, where you, basically it's like the Civil War ends or whatever, and, Ry and Andrew Ryan goes onto like the intercom and basically tells everybody, somebody just crash landed in the plane it basically like gives you like a little mini uh backstory like a little prologue into bioshock one where you see the plane like i don't know if you guys know what i'm talking about i'm sure you do if, if you've uh, leveled up all the way i'd never seen that before till yesterday which blows my mind because i love bioshock this is like my all-time favorite single player game bioshock one is and i can't believe i never knew about that that is kind of crazy it's like a little uh, burial at sea before burial at sea from bioshock infinite but uh you are at a real disadvantage like if you don't have the nail gun if you don't have the actually the biggest thing in this game that you're at a disadvantage of if you don't have is a leg up it's like your little tonic where you can just hold the jump button and you can pretty much jump up into like second stories that is so crazy that mixed with like arrow dash for example you can jump up like hella high and then dash forward unbelievable like it is so like you are at such a disadvantage like you have so much you have way less mobility if you do not have leg up and it takes a while to get it. I think it might be level 29. I could be wrong on that. So yeah, there's definitely like the nail gun is a beast gun. But I don't think I even have that unlocked yet and on PC. Um, yeah, I almost wish I could like find a hack for Bioshock 2 just to level me up all the way. It's like I don't want to you know, level it up again. Not that I don't enjoy leveling up, but it's like, come on, I'm not trying to level up and live in the old game now. I'm just, I just want to play it all the way. Uh, so yeah, Xbox 360 would be a bit of a challenge uh, playing it considering I'm level 1. But to be honest with you, I don't have uh, much confidence that we're even going to be able to um, find a game there. So I, you might be seeing some, at least some Modern Warfare 2 gameplay here coming up because I got Xbox Live for a month. I'm not about to waste it. I love Modern Warfare 2. So anyways, uh, that's going to wrap the video up here. I don't know if you could tell, but there was some, definitely some cuts after that, after that Big Daddy. I definitely didn't... Uh, Definitely wasn't tearing it up like it was in the beginning of the game. But if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you go ahead and give it a like. Leave a comment, subscribe if you're new here to Tap Plays Games. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next video.